Servus and welcome. Today let's talk about stream labels and how to set them up with stream elements. So essentially there are two ways on how you can set up stream labels with stream elements. The first option we're going to talk about today is setting up a full scene inside your stream elements overlay editor and then using a browser source to add into your OBS. The main advantage of this option is that you actually have everything set up inside stream elements and your PC does not have to render anything. You pretty much only enter a link or a browser source into your OBS and everything will work. Also, if you switch your setup a lot or you have a mobile setup, then using a browser source is way, way easier because you don't have to change the OBS settings every time you update something. The second approach we're going to talk about today is setting up your stream labels inside the stream elements overlay editor and then adding those labels on top of your existing existing overlays inside your OBS. The main difference here is that you set up the overlay, so the visual elements inside OBS, and you only add the labels on top. So before I start showing you the two options that we just talked about, I quickly want to introduce you to the stream labels. What are stream labels? Stream labels are information displayed after a live event that happened on your stream. For example, if I own move follow your stream right now and you have an alert set up, then first the alert will be triggered displaying my new follow. And after that alert happened, if you have a label set up, that label such as latest follower will update and show my name owned Moo in that label. There are a lot of different labels that you can choose from, such as latest donation, latest cheer, latest follower or latest subscriber. Some of the most common services used to display labels and alerts are Stream Elements, which we're talking about today, Stream Labs and of course our own service, own.pro. So if you're still not sure which service to use or it's too complicated and you just want to get started streaming, then I highly recommend trying out Own Pro. We have a full setup guide, you can try it for free and with just one click you have alerts and scenes ready to go. Before we start with the guides, I want to quickly introduce you to SE.Live, which can be a very useful feature if you're using Stream Elements as well as OBS Studio. Visit StreamElements.com. On the top of the screen, click on Features, scroll down to Download SE.Live, click on it, and then download the SE.Live program. Once you have it downloaded, all you have to do is install it and usually it will automatically find your OBS Studio folder and install it correctly. Then all you have to do is restart your OBS Studio or start it if you haven't had it started yet. And then you will find a new button on top of your OBS Studio called Stream Elements. So this is how it will look like. You have a Stream Elements next to your Tools and Help button at the top of the screen. You can click on it and one of the most useful features you can find here is the so-called Activity Feed. If you're using Stream Elements for your alerts, then the Activity Feed will help you keep track of your incoming alerts and allows you to pause them, skip them, mute them or replay them if you missed it. So this is a very, very useful feature. You don't need your browser open and you can undock this dock and you can move it around wherever you need it to. Stream Elements Live has a bunch of really cool features for your OBS Studio. So if you're using Stream Elements for your streams and OBS Studio, then I would highly recommend trying it out and seeing for yourself. But since we're not live streaming this video and we're just setting up the labels, I will close the docs to keep the screen a bit cleaner. All right, now to the first setup guide, where I will show you how to set up a full scene inside your Stream Elements Overlay Editor and then add the browser source into your OBS Studio. Of course, first off, you have to visit StreamElements.com, click on Login and you connect the account of your choice. No matter if it's Twitch, YouTube, Facebook or Trovo, this all works pretty much the same. In this case, I will use the Twitch account owned Moo that I'm using for all these guides. Once you're logged in, you will find your dashboard. On the left side, you click on Streaming Tools and then head into My Overlays. As you can see, currently I only have one overlay setup, which is called Alerts, which is from one of our previous educational videos. By the way, if you need more help in regards to streaming or setting up your stream for any software out there, then maybe check out our playlist and we might have the right video for you there. But now let's create a new overlay. We click on the overlay on the right side here and it opens up a new overlay asking for the overlay resolution. If you're unsure which resolution to use, then hop into your OBS Studio, click on the settings, go into the video tab and then here use the base canvas resolution which in my case is 1920 by 1080. You go back to stream elements and then here it's already 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 so this is fine with me and you click on start. Now what we're going to do is we're going to rename the scene to make it easier for us. I'm going to call it game scene because I want to stream a cool game. After renaming my scene I'm going to add my first widget which is going to be the webcam overlay that we want to add some labels on top. Click on add widget on the left side and then go into static custom and add a video. Once you have added a video you have to click on change a video and then here use the already uploaded brave webcam series overlay that I will be using in this video. 
If you haven't uploaded already, then all you have to do is click on upload and drag and drop the file that you want to use for your videos. So now we're going back into the videos and we're just going to click on submit and therefore activating the webcam overlay. Now we're going to left click drag and open it up a little bit more so we can perfectly see it. To make it easier for the setup, I will leave the webcam overlay here and later on we will place it wherever we want it to be for our future streams. One important side note, always make sure that you have loop checkmarked because if you don't, then you will see that the animation will disappear after a certain amount of time. Just like that. But why does it happen? Well, the media files are limited. They're looping their endless loops. So you have to click on loop so that they don't just stop playing. So just make sure to have loop checkmarked here or if you uncheck it by accident, just make sure it's checked again. What we can do now is we can save and we can click on the copy overlay URL link Go into your OBS and I can show you how it will look like. So first off, we will disable the webcam that we set up earlier and we will add a new browser source and we name it game scene, such as we did inside stream elements. We click on OK and here it's very important you control V, you paste the link and you set it to 1920 by 1080, which is obviously also the sizing that we used. As you can see here, it's perfectly matched to the canvas as well as the webcam is here. So this is why it's so powerful. You can pretty much set up the complete scene inside Stream Elements Overlay Editor, and then it's just one browser source that you add into your OBS Studio. All right, now let's head back into Stream Elements Overlay Editor and add the first label that we want to use. In this case, we're starting with the Stream Elements latest follower label. We click on this little plus sign on the left bottom corner, and then we go into the label section, followers, latest and latest follower. So now we have the latest follow label added here. And as you can see, we can move it around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the latest follow text on the left side here because we only want the name. As you can see, we already have latest follower inside the webcam frame set up. So now we're going to match this label box perfectly to the size. And as you can already see, it looks pretty good. If you haven't had a follow yet and you want to test your label, click on emulate follow event and you will trigger a follow event. And as you can see here, the name has changed to Ginny. So if you want to see the difference, all you have to do is click on save again in the top right corner, go back into OBS. And as you can see, the label is now updated as well here. And that's pretty much it. So now you have your webcam overlay and your label set up. One very important feature that I want to quickly show you is the grouping. So what does grouping mean? Right now, if you move your webcam overlay, your label will stay in the same place which means that every time you change your layout or you want to move your webcam, you would have to move every single element with it. To avoid all that extra work, especially once you have everything set up perfectly, you place your label again, and then you shift and left click the name and the video on the left side here on the layers, and then you click on this little folder called group. And when you click on it, they are now grouped together, which means that if I move one thing, all the other things move with it. So please keep that in mind and start grouping on early because it makes your life way, way easier. So this could be pretty much it. You just put the webcam wherever you want it to be. You save and you go into your OBS and it's all set up. And now inside OBS, all you have to do is add your webcam behind the webcam overlay and you're done. You can repeat this process for all the other labels and that's pretty much it and your game scene is ready to go. Go into OBS Studio. As you know, we already set up the game scene browser source. You click on the plus sign in the sources. You add a video capture device. In this case, I will choose the second webcam that I have set up for this tutorial video. Click on OK. Here I am on the second webcam. I'm closing this down. I'm matching it to the webcam. I'm making this smaller and adding it behind the webcam overlay that we just set up inside Stream Elements. Once I have them aligned, I left click in the sources tab on the webcam and I drag it below the game scene because then it means that my webcam is behind the overlay. So it's not overlapping the design. And that's pretty much it. Now you have your first label set up as well as a webcam perfectly placed and it's very, very easy to do. Before I start with the second option of how to set up your labels inside OBS Studio, if you use the first one already, then skip to the end of the video because there I will give you a quick introduction on how to change your text settings for the labels and especially update the font to match the style of our packages. Welcome to the second way of setting up your labels directly inside OBS Studio. So first off, we go back to my overlays inside Stream Elements. We click on a new overlay and we open up a new overlay. We're choosing the 1080p resolution, which again, you will find in your OBS under settings and inside your video settings as the base canvas resolution. So we pick the 1080p again, we click on start and we will name this scene latest follower label. Then we click on add widget. We go into the label section the followers, the latest followers and click on latest follower. 
And again, here we have the text called latest follower. I will remove the pretext called latest follower because we only need the name that is a code and automatically updates to your actual latest follower. If you haven't had a follower yet, then all you have to do is click on emulate follow event and you will get a fake follower just for testing purposes. And that's pretty much it. You can place it anywhere around the middle. You can move it, make it bigger or smaller. It doesn't matter though if the font is not changing and then save. You click on the copy your overlay URL button and now you have it copied to your clipboard. You go into OBS Studio and in your sources tab, you click on the plus sign. Then you choose the browser source and you will name this latest follower. Now, control V and we paste the link and we change the width and the height to 1920 by 1080. We click on OK. And now, as you will see here, we have a follower name updated. Also, please don't forget to always save before you use anything or change anything, because then it only updates inside OBS Studio. If it doesn't update, right click on the latest follower, for example, click on the properties, scroll down and refresh the cache of the current page. And if you do so and you click on OK, then usually it will go blank and it will update. And to test this, I will go back into Stream Elements, trigger a new follow alert as a test. It's called Matilda. We go back and now the name is updated. So what have we done here? In our previous videos, we set up a webcam overlay with my webcam, as you can see here, hello, on the second cam, inside OBS Studio. So the main difference here is before on the first option, we had a webcam overlay directly put into Stream Elements and all we have to add is one browser source into our OBS Studio to work. In this case, we uploaded a webcam overlay as a media source and then we added the webcam under it and now we're adding the label on top of it. How do we do this though? Well, you click onto the label and you can see here the frame is again 1920 by 1080. Most importantly, you hold and click the Alt button on your keyboard and then you left click and drag it up to the label and you hold Alt and you left click and drag it. Do it from the sides as well. So you pretty much set up your own labels box. And now what you can do is you can move it on top of your overlay match it just like this, which actually works really well, have it quite similar to what the label looks like inside your Stream Elements overlay editor. And that's pretty much it if you just want to do it quick and dirty. So if you're happy with that, then this could be it already. Now, what I would recommend is starting to group inside of OBS Studio. What do I mean by grouping? As you can see here in the previous video, I created a webcam group, which means that the whole webcam, my webcam and the overlay is inside a group and I can move it around together. So I left click and hold on the latest follower label and I move it into the webcam group. What it does is now when I move the webcam group, I move everything and the label doesn't stay behind. So it's very, very useful and I highly recommend you start using grouping inside OBS Studio as well as Stream Elements as soon as you can. And now you can set up all the other labels that you want to use and you're pretty much ready to go. But if you want to change your font and update your text styles or labels, then stick around because now I will teach you something that works for both options I talked about today. Now I taught you the both ways on how to set up your labels. Both ways have their advantages and disadvantages. But things that they have combined are the settings that you can use to make your labels look better. So you can change the size, the font, or you can also give them a certain effect such as a scrolling effect. And I quickly want to introduce you to these type of things. So if you want the font to match the style of the package that you purchased, just open up the package. In this case, it's the Brave Series Premium English package. Double click on it, go into the quick start, fonts, and here you can see all the fonts that we've used. Install each of these fonts individually and you can start using them on your computer. Just double click on the fonts, open them up, click on the install button, wait a couple seconds and you're pretty much ready to go. Now that you installed the font that you want to use for your labels, go into the Stream Elements Overlay Editor, go into your layers and choose the label that you want to update. In this case, we only have one label set up for the moment, which is the latest folder label. You click on the text settings and then you enable the custom font option. And now you enter the custom font name, in our case, Europhonic. And as you can see here, once I enter the full name, it automatically already updated and I can see the cool new font that we are using right now. Most importantly, you click on the save button again and then see the magic inside OBS Studio. And there it is, as you can see, the label updated and is now matching the font of the webcam overlay's latest follower text right next to it. Make it even more clear, I will just resize it for a little bit so you can see. Right here, it fits perfectly. Obviously, it doesn't look that good if you stretch it as much as I just did. So we're going to resize it again, put it in the corner as we like. And now we have the font updated. If you think that the text is too big or too small to match the overlay, which in my case, I think it looks good. But if you want to change that, 
you go back into the text settings and you can change the size for example let's do 40 here which is going to be way too big and as you can see here already the label is also getting way bigger but you can save it you can go back and this is how it would look like right now you could resize it and match it if you want it as big or you could just leave it as it was before so I'm going back and I'm changing it to 24 again because I kind of like that. If you want to play around with it, then that's easy. Just change the number, save, look how it looks inside your OBS Studio. And if you like it, keep it. If not, just change it a little bit and try it out. It's a bit of a try and error, but you will definitely find the setting that you want to use. Obviously, the text settings have all the other goodies such as center text, cursive text and all the options that you want to use. I usually just go with bold and the left sided text. You can also enable and disable text shadow and most importantly a feature that I really like is called the text scrolling feature. So if you activate it then you will see that your text will start scrolling from one side to another. You can change the scrolling speed as well as the direction the scroll is happening. Why can this be useful? Well first of all a little movement sometimes on the screen can be nice even though this is in my opinion a bit too quick for my stream. But if someone follows, subscribes, donates with quite a long name, then the name will be cut up and it might not look good or maybe they're sad because they're not seeing their full name. So if you have the scroll option set up and you can change the scroll speed to maybe one and then you can have a look at it and you can save and try it out. And here is the updated name and it's a scrolling effect and in my opinion it looks kind of cool as well. So this is it. You can set up your labels, you can change the font, the size, and you can add a really cool scrolling effect if you like to. So these are some of the main options that get you started streaming using stream elements and the labels function. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope it was helpful. If you liked it, please consider leaving a like and or a comment. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, we have a playlist somewhere up here right now for you to help you setting up our products or your perfect stream overlays. So if you need more assistance, have a look at the playlist and it might help you out even more. We at Owned wish you the best for your upcoming streams, many new followers and active new chatters, and I hope to see you around in the next videos.